Let us solve this equation, 3 raised to x plus 9 raised to x is equal to 27 raised to x. So I will transform this 9 and 27 as an exponential expression with a base of 3. So that will be 3 raised to x plus 9 can be represented as 3 squared raised to x equal 27 can be represented as 3 cubed raised to x. Then by the application of the law of exponent, a raised to m raised to n equal to a raised to mn equal also to a raised to n raised to m. So we have 3 raised to x applying this law of exponent for this term and this term. So I can interchange the position of the exponents, right? So I can have 3 squared x as equal to 3 raised to x squared equal, likewise here, I will have 3 raised to x raised to the third. And then I will introduce a new variable, let's say u. I will let u be equal to this 3 raised to x. By doing that, I can transform the equation in terms of u. So 3 raised to x, that will be u. Plus 3 raised to x, that's u. Then don't forget that we need to raise it to the second power. Equal to 3 raised to x, that's u raised to the third power. I will transpose all the terms on the left side to the right, leaving the left side equal to 0. So I will have u cubed minus u squared minus u. Or we can have u cubed minus u squared minus u equal to 0. I can factor the left side by common monomial factoring. I can factor out the u. So I will have u times quantity u squared minus u minus 1 equal to 0. Then, equating each factor to 0, so I can have u is equal to 0, and then, this quadratic equation, u squared minus u minus 1 equal to 0. So, the first solution for u is already this one, 0, and you can still get the other two solutions for u by using quadratic formula. So you cannot factor this one. That's why I will just use the quadratic formula. So that will be u is equal to negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. If we are given a u square plus b u plus c is equal to 0, we can plug in the value of a, b, and c in the quadratic formula. So our a is the coefficient of the u squared which is 1 b is the coefficient of the u, which is negative 1, and c is the constant term negative 1. So we can have u equal, so plugging in every value of a, b, c in the quadratic formula. So negative b, that's negative 1, plus minus the square root of b squared, so negative 1 squared, minus 4a, a is 1. So we have 4 times 1 times c, which is negative 1, all over 2 times a, which is 1. So we have u is equal to negative of negative 1, that will be positive 1, plus minus the square root of, so negative 1 squared, that's positive 1. Then we have negative 4 times 1 times negative 1, that will be positive 4, over 2. So u is equal to 1, plus minus the square root of 1 plus 4, that's 5, over 2. So we can split the answer into u is equal to 1, get the positive root, so 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And then the other one, get the negative root, so 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So therefore, the three solutions for u are, so the first one is u is equal to 0. And then u is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And u is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now, recall that the u is originally in terms of x. So, that is u is equal to 3x. So, substituting the value of u in terms of x, u is equal to 3 raised to x. So, for the first solution, u is equal to 0. We can equate 3 raised to x to 0. Likewise here, for the second solution, we can equate 3 raised to x this time to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And then for the third solution, we can equate 3 raised to x to this expression, 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. 
So solving each of this equation for x, so for the first one, we can apply the logarithm. So I can get the natural logarithm of both sides. So we can have ln of 0, applying the power rule for logarithm. I can uh, represent ln 3 raised to x as x raised to ln 3 and divide both sides by ln 3. So we have x is equal to ln of 0 over ln 3. But we know that ln of 0 does not exist, right? So therefore, we cannot accept the value of u equal to 0 since it will yield a value for x that is undefined. So therefore, I will reject this solution for x. For the second one, likewise, I can get the ln of both sides. So we will have ln of 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Then applying the property of logarithm, ln 3 raised to x, that will be x ln 3, dividing both sides by ln 3. So therefore, the value of x is this expression. So you can plug that in in the calculator. So you will get a decimal approximately equal to 0 0.438. So this is one solution of the equation. Lastly, for the third solution, let me copy here. Okay, so getting the natural logarithm of both sides. So we will have ln of 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 equal to x ln 3. Then dividing both sides by ln 3. So we will have x is equal to this expression. But if you input that in the calculator, you will see that its value is not defined. Why? Because if you get the value of this 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2, it's approximately equal to negative 0 0.618. So if we get the logarithm of a negative number, the value will be undefined. So therefore, the value for this u cannot be accepted because it will yield an undefined answer value for x. So the only accepted value for x is this one, which is approximately 0 0.438.